Hello tubers, it's me again. Yeah, like a bad penny, here I am again. Every time you turn on my channel, here I am. Of course. Right, we're out on another Lay down. Out on another spares run to sit in born. Um, quite familiar by now I should think this ride. Been quite bored of it myself really, but it's nice to be on the bike. Looks like it's going to tip it down with rain, so I hope it doesn't, like it did yesterday, all day, with thunder and frightening and stuff, and floods everywhere, all around the southeast of England. So it was a bit um, leery, shall we say? Let's do some filtering, shall we? Not too much. We'll pull up behind the other bike, shall we? There we go. Big bike, big boy. Officer of the law there. Why this bloke's not filtered any further, do you think? Because he's sitting next to Mr. Plod. Boink. It's all right, sensibly. There's a policeman about. Going in, mister. Are you going in this lane or double lane? Mm, Mr. Pot's following us as well. See him in the mirror. Anyway, it's not a bad day, it's a bit windy, a bit uh, cloudy, so it's tipped it down with rain yesterday. As you probably saw on the news, had some news coverage of floods everywhere around Kent and Sussex and what have you. Nasty thunderstorms. So, uh, yeah, I didn't take the bike out yesterday. <laughs> but we're out today. On the Ninja Cruiser. On our little jaunt to jolly old City Bourne to get our spare parts. So I'll do some more work next week. I want to do one later today as well depart for a job later today so yes that's what we're doing and uh, today I was going to talk about um, a subject that might be close to a lot of your hearts um, it's a subject that's going to be controversial probably it's the subject of Giving up smoking, you dirty, stupid, nasty habit, you. Let's give it up. Let's all give it up. How to give up smoking? Should you give up smoking? Why do you smoke? When did you start smoking? 
you answer to those questions, please, in a comment. I started smoking many, many years ago. I was first introduced to cigarettes by my older brother. Thank you very much. In a shed, having a puff on a fag, have a puff on that. <laughs> that was lovely, thank you. Um, but that introduced me to cigarettes. I don't know what age I was. I was probably about 10, I think. Um, and then as you go up through secondary school, back then, I'm talking a long time ago here, um, a few of my friends started smoking like, you know, when they were, I don't know, 13. Go on, have one, go on, have one, like they do. Peer pressure and all that. That's probably why a lot of people started smoking, because of peer pressure. So, yeah, you have a fag, and yeah, it's all right, you know, can kill me. What's all the fuss about? Not realising that Mr. Nicotine is setting his uh, evil trap in your brain, telling your brain you've got to have more. So, I mean, at that age, you probably had, I don't know, one a day. You know, you'd have one walking home from school or whatever. I can't remember where the hell we got them from now. I know we used to go in a shop. There was a shop local to us. Um, and it used to sell cigarettes in single, out of a sweetie jar. I forget how much they were now. They weren't stupid. I mean, they were something like tuppence each. And I'm talking not pence, I'm talking D, two D each. Because you could have got a packet of 10 in those days. I think it was two shillings. It's 10p in real money, as it is now. So yeah, we used to go and buy one cigarette in this shop and smoke it on the way home from school. It's funny, all the shops sold cigarettes when near schools. Bit weird, but there you go. And um, it sort of progressed from there. I mean, I left school at the ripe old age of 15. Didn't have any GCSEs to my name, or O levels, or A levels. I left school and started an apprenticeship as an electrician. 15. So the first year of my apprenticeship was purely all practical because <laughs> I wasn't allowed to start college until I was 16 so that was fair enough. But um, you know back in those days everyone smoked. You were going on building sites and, and what have you and uh, yeah everybody smoked. So the fact that I had a couple of fags a day didn't bother me, didn't bother me gardener, you know, everyone done it. Even he done it. Um, you know, you have a tea break, you have a cigarette with your tea break. I don't know if this copper's going to follow me all the way to sitting on, but he's, he's sitting on me tail quite often. Anyway, so, um, smoking, yes, you'd, uh, you didn't realise you were getting more and more addicted to smoking. You know, you just think, oh, have one. I don't think you were that addicted to it then. But I think um, as you get older, you get more addicted to it. Um, you know, by the age of 18, I'd been smoking properly for three years by then, and I think I was well and truly addicted by then. You know, you. you used to look forward to your first fag of the day and you know it's um it gradually gets gets hold of you there's a policey man coming down here with his lights flashing can you see him i don't know if my camera's picking it up there he goes just a policey man where's he going 
Is he coming through here? No, it's going around there, that's all right. Okay. Yeah, so they, they gradually um, get into your system and nicotine works his magic in your brain and uh, he makes you addicted to him. Hello. I think he wants a race, the policeman. Yeah, so... Um, you get addicted to them. It's very addictive stuff, nicotine. So I say, I, I started when I was 15 and used to smoke little um, tailor made cigarettes, number six, players number six, if anyone remembers them. You can't get them, I don't think you can get them anymore. I'm a non smoker now, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's what I used to smoke then, and then. I progressed from that. I um, finished up on. I always used to roll my own, roll my own for bloody years and years and years, because it was cheaper, and you could put as much or as little tobacco in your fag as you wanted. Um, so yeah, used to roll my own, and used to smoke probably about 15 a day. So I considered myself not a heavy smoker, but I was a smoker. And I done that from 15, I done that for 43 years, putting these things in my mouth and lighting them up, inhaling the smoke, just to get the nicotine, but you're not only getting the nicotine, you're getting all the other crap as well. The cyanide and other poisons and God knows what else. And um, I used to enjoy smoking, it was, you know, very enjoyable to me. Didn't consider myself a big, as I say, a heavy smoker, so uh, when I had a fag I enjoyed it. And it was always, most probably the most enjoyable ones are like um, after a meal or when you're out for a drink, you know, or um, during the day, because I spend a lot of time in my van, I'd, I'd roll one up at the start of each little journey that I was doing, you know, so. Some days I'd smoke a bit more than 15, because if it was, if it was a busy day, I'd have one on every trip. So that's where the majority of my smoking was, was in my van, in my vehicle. And um, didn't consider it doing me any real harm. I need to get over there. Can I get over there, please? and uh, just carried on doing it. Then one day, just after Christmas, funny enough, before Christmas, I said to myself, I think I might try giving up in the new year. So I bought one of these e-cigarette things. And um, some of the liquid you buy for it, you know, a couple of different flavors, thought I'd give it, give it a serious try of giving up. And, um, as I say, just after Christmas, I was still smoking, still had some backer, I had loads of it actually. <laughs> um, a friend had just been abroad, so he, he bought some for me. So I had quite a rake of it in my cupboard. But I thought, uh, once that's gone, in the new year, I'll, I'll give up. And um, so I was out playing golf with my son just after Christmas, the Sunday between Christmas and New Year. And uh, you know, my son, at the time, was 16 years old. Hopefully, you can hear me, all this wind battering me on the bloody crush helmet. Yeah, he was 16 years old at the time. 
Now we're out playing golf, he likes golf, I like golf, he's probably better than me at it. Um, and uh, there I am, doubled up in agony, and he's thinking, uh, what's going on here? And that, that was the day I had uh, my heart attack. Got whisked off to uh, hospital. Had two stents fitted in, you know, blomp blomp. They, they just do it. As a matter of course now, yeah, you've had a heart attack, right? Let's go in through your artery and have a look. Yeah, and you've got a blockage there. And this is a bit thin here. And, uh, stick two stents in for you. Two days in hospital. Loads of drugs, my idea. Not, not illegal ones, um, you know. Medication, I should have said. Um, yeah, and uh, come out, months rest, okay again, ish. Um, but um, that's when I gave up smoking. That really drove home to me because all the time I was in the hospital, they're all going on about, you know, you do it because I'm not overweight or anything. I never have been. I've always been pretty active. Play golf once, twice a week, what have you. Um, so they couldn't blame it on anything else, they blamed on smoking. Fair enough. Um, so yeah, that's the day I gave up smoking. Now I wouldn't recommend it. You know, if you are a smoker and you are considering giving up smoking, don't wait till you have a heart attack. Because that bloody hurts. I don't know if you've ever had uh, a real bad cramp in your leg, in your calf. When you wake up in the morning, you stretch and you get cramp in your leg. Oh, does that hurt? You know, sometimes it hurts for the rest of the day where it's been such a bad cramp. Well, you imagine that in your chest. That's what it's like having a heart attack. Um, so you don't want that. That's not a that's not the ideal way to, you know, get inspired to give up smoking. So, if you do smoke, and you want to give up, I'm not, I'm not preaching to people you've got to give up, it's up to you. You know, you've got to make that choice. But, I've done it for 43 years, and I did enjoy it, as I said, it was so, very nice. But since giving up smoking, oh, fuck yeah. Since giving up smoking, um, I won't say I feel fantastic, but I think I do feel better. Um, I can't taste my food any better, which is one of the things people say, oh, you'll taste your food much better, it'll all be, you'll smell things better, da -da 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 -da. I can't. I can't taste anything any different to me, unless it's been such a gradual thing that, uh, you know, you don't notice it. But anyway, no, I don't, I don't taste or smell any different, or smell things any different. Um, I do physically smell different, I know that, because uh, I've not smoked now for eight months, and um, if somebody walks into a room, that's been outside having a cigarette. My God, do they stink. And I think to myself, Christ, I must have smelled like that. That couldn't have been very nice for other people around me. That couldn't have been very nice for my son sitting in my van next to me smelling like that. <coughs> um, so yeah, if you are considering giving up smoking, don't wait till it's too late and your body says, oh, you know, we're gonna, attack you and um, make you give up, give you something to think about, don't wait for that, just, you know, get your e-cigarette, um, by the way, I've got one for sale if you want one, it's never been used, never got round to using it, uh, but no, get, you know, try and just try and give up, because uh, it doesn't do you any good, and uh, I've seen pictures of high arteries, they're not pretty, and if it's true what they say that uh, smoking caused 
the majority of what's in my arteries. I know you've got um, fatty foods taken apart these days and all that sort of thing. Let's say I'm not overweight. My cholesterol count wasn't high. Um, so they couldn't blame that. So they had to blame smoking. And obviously you had to blame sort of a, a bit of it on hereditary because uh, uh, I lost my dad years ago to, he had a massive heart attack and dropped dead on New Year's Eve one year and also lost an older brother to heart disease so it's in the family but then in saying that they both smoked <laughs> so is it due to that, you know, did they have it because of smoking? Probably did, yeah. So, um, don't think because you've got away with it for so many years, you're going to get away with it forever and ever and ever. Because I don't think you do. Something's got to give somewhere in your body. And, um, as I say, don't wait till you've got uh, your heart beating out your chest and aching like crap, you know. That's not nice, that's not a nice way to do it. It's, um, it's quite a good way, you know, it's quite a... Six it in your head, you don't forget. So then you think, yeah, I can remember having my last cigarette, I was... I know exactly where I had my last one. I was, um, walking up the ninth hole on the golf course, thinking, why do I feel so old all of a sudden? Why does my chest hurt so much? This is not indigestion, is it? And um, I took one last puff on the fag, in case it was indigestion, because all smokers will tell you, if they get indigestion, they're like up a fag. And uh, no, it didn't go, so I threw this cigarette, and I know exactly where I threw it, on the golf course. So I know exactly where I had my last fag. And uh, I'm glad now, not glad I had a heart attack, but I'm glad I've given up, because when I, as I say, when I smell people that do smoke and they've just had a fag, I, don't get me wrong, I still love, absolutely love, the smell of cigarette smoke. When a cigarette is burning, you know, when somebody's actually smoking it, not so blowing it in your face, but if you're walking through town and someone in front of you is having a fag, you think, well that smells nice. Um, they don't smell nice enough that I think, oh, I'm going to rush out and buy a packet. Because I then think, ah, that hurts, that smoking mark. So, as I said, if you want to give up smoking, make that move. Make it today. You know, if you've watched this video, which I've tricked you into watching by calling it how to give up smoking. Um, if you, you want to give up, make that move today. Buy yourself a, an e-cigarette with some crazy flavours so it doesn't taste like fags. I think that would be probably the best answer. Is, you know, even if you only go for menthol ones. Thanks for cutting in front, mate. Yeah, even if you only go for menthol or something like that, which, you know, or, you know, strawberry, if you like strawberry, go something like that. Yeah, but don't get tobacco flavoured, because that would just think, oh, I could do with a fag. So get a, um, a different flavour, and give it a go. You know, hey-ho, if you only last a month, and you're back on the fags, at least you got your e-cigarette in back up that you can say oh, I'll give it another go next month and hopefully you'll, you'll gradually wing yourself off but they're not doing you any good I can tell you that from experience um, you know and that's just one person's view of um, <laughs> of smoking for 43 years thinking ah this ain't gonna never hurt me oh, I love you know, this is smashing it's lovely tastes nice and all that and it makes you feel good and da, 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 da. your body is going to rebel eventually might not be for an heart attack 
might catch nasty, uh, nasty sea disease. And no one wants that, no one wants to go through that. So, smoking ain't good for you, folks. Give it up, give it up today. Ouch. Whether you're young or old. I look at young ones now, I think, yeah, I used to do that when I was your age. And think nothing of it. And you sort of say to them, I mean, I know a few youngsters who live around here, me, and you say to them, why do you smoke? Uh, it's good, isn't it? It's cool. It's not cool. It's not big, it's not clever. Hack it up. All right? <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. Hope I haven't bored you to tears. Um, please like it if you like it. Dislike it if you don't like it. Don't be frightened. That's what the buttons are there for. Make a comment. Share the video with your friends, especially if they smoke. Um, and hit the subscribe button for God's sake. You know, follow us and you'll get um, notifications. I don't do all boring videos. Some are fun. I know this one's been a bit boring for you, but um, no, they're not all boring. So take care, ride safe, and I'll catch you next time I'm out. Cheers now.